friends welcome and you're welcome back to my channel my name is Erin and if this is your first time here welcome to looked and busy today's video is going to be a weekly reading vlog this sunday night um i'm about to take my makeup off i had quickly got ready to film my wrap up and i wanted to film a weekly reading vlog this week i have taken like two weeks off of vlogging and i'm ready to get back into it i am working on some themed vlogs but i've just been doing a lot of mood reading and i want to share that with you so there is one book that i absolutely have to read this week and that is sharp ends by joe abercrombie this is the catch-up book club book for january and february uh and we're talking about it on sunday on becca's channel this is technically the seventh book or seventh entry into the first saw universe and this is a short story collection that covers a series of stories that are before and during the events of the first six books and so we're going to be talking about this uh i've already read one anthology this month and now i'm reading a second which is odd because i read one anthology in the whole of last week and now i've read two so far this month i'm going to be reading two at least um so I'm looking forward, am I looking forward to reading this? Probably not, uh, but I'm going to be reading this. So I'm going to be reading this in this vlog and then I look through like my Kindle and my office to see what are some books that I'm interested in picking up this week that are not for any specific video because I am reading stuff for video. So I'm going to just show you quickly one book that I am reading for a video is His Majesty's Dragon, which is on my March TBR but i checked out like the first eight volumes of cherry magic from the library if you've watched my spinner wheel vlog i checked these out and so i read the first volume last weekend and so i want to read one or two of the volumes that i have left this this week and then i, I pulled a couple ya fantasies i've been in a big ya mood so this woven kingdom i bought this in january and it's really calling out to me and if you know anything about my book buying goals this year my one of my goals is to read every single book that i buy this year and then also song or silver flame like night which is one of my uh priority series so those are just some books that I'm interested in. Another one that I might pick up this week is Defiant by Brandon Sanderson. This is the fourth and final book in the Skyward series. Another YA fantasy. So um, in February, I read two of the books on my 24 books to read in 20, 2024. And I want to make sure that I'm reading at least one a month. Um, preferably two for me to stay on track. And since I didn't read any in January, I do still have some making up to do so maybe we'll read from that list as well so yeah that is what i'm hoping to get into this week i also might read the vor game which is the fourth book in the vor Kosigan saga another book off my march tbr so uh i'll probably talk to you tomorrow and i've picked a book to read and yeah i'll talk to you then bye hello friends long time no see so happy sunday um if you're obviously you're watching this vlog so for you it's only been like a second since the intro to this vlog and i'm gonna leave the intro just so that you can see the difference between then and now um believe it or not today is march 17th and i haven't vlogged in three weeks um i did film that intro last week but that was like on a filming day where i just pushed myself through to film because i wanted to get my wrap-up film and um i haven't been vlogging for the last three weeks i really haven't been filming either because i pre-filmed some content while i was um on my winter break that week in february so i had some cushion and i had like some videos prepared and there are things that have been going on that i just haven't felt like vlogging so i want to talk about that with you guys um let's address the elephant in the room it's not an elephant but i want to address this i look different and that's the reason why i haven't been vlogging so recently if you've been watching my videos uh, hold on the exposure is kind of high let's bring it down a little bit okay if you've been watching my videos you may have heard me say especially if you're a patron of mine but if you've been watching my videos you would have heard me say that 2024 has been kicking my ass like i stole something from it like i talked about his mama and obviously i haven't but that has been the case but things are finally getting better march has been a much better month than the two previous ones but one thing that i have been dealing with recently and it's what's like not allowed me to vlog in the last three weeks 
is just to call a spade a spade i've been feeling really ugly <laughs> i've been feeling really ugly not ugly enough to like not go through my day to day but like not feeling ugly that i don't want to get on camera and look at myself in 1080p high definition 4k and then watch myself back for hours on end on the screen like i haven't been feeling up to all of that and um like i feel perfectly fine when i'm dolled up when i've done my hair done my makeup put on a cute top which is what you would have seen in the intro but if you've watched a vlog of mine before you know that 99 percent of my vlog clips are filmed with no makeup on i don't even have my contacts in i have my glasses on like my everyday and i am very comfortable and confident in my appearance usually but something i don't know i don't know what but something has happened and i'm just like i don't like the way that i look right now and i'm in a position to change that i'm in a position to change a lot of things um and I'm, I'm sharing this because if you are feeling something similar or and this can apply to more than just how you look but if there's something in your life that you do not like and you're not happy with that's in your power to change or even in your power to improve do so like i want to empower you to do that so I wasn't liking just how I was looking day to day and one of my goals for this year my word of the year is elevate I want to elevate everything and so I was like Erin you're not liking how you're looking right now you can change that you and I know I, I want to make sure this comes across correctly because I know that it can seem so superficial and I don't want to seem that way but liking the way that you look when you just go about your every day versus liking the way that you look when thousands of people are going to see you is very different and if you're you don't create content online or whatever or obviously you know a person of note of some kind not that i'm a person of note but you get what i'm saying like in your day-to-day -day life you're not gonna see a thousand people even just one thousand people you're just not gonna see a thousand people a thousand people are not going to look at you and is, is it, you're very aware of it when that is the case and not to say that people don't make comments about it because they do but that's something that can happen in real life too and so i was like what can i do because one of the things that i made my goal for march is i want to put more effort into my appearance at work because i only like to dress up on the weekend i only put effort into my appearance on the weekend but work is five out of five of the days of the week that's the majority of my time and so i want to i feel like when you look good you feel good and you know that improves my mood that makes me feel better and so my goal for the month of march has been two days a week even just just two days a week i want to put effort into my appearance at work in the last two weeks and it's not necessarily wearing makeup it's just like putting on a cute outfit and like being intentional about it like wearing earrings wearing a necklace like just small things um and so i was like this week was my glow up week this was the week i'm going to set my cookies up and if you're not familiar with that phrasing it's about self-improvement so I went closer to the camera. I went and got my eyebrows tinted. Um, I used to do this back in like 2022, but I fell off because it is extensive. But I'm like, I feel better when I just wake up and I look more put together. I also got eyelash extensions. I have done that once before, but the person I went to just didn't do a great job. And it's also expensive, so I decided not to do it. But I was like, why not? I can try someone else just because I didn't like it doesn't mean another person wouldn't be able to do a good job. And I'm very pleased with these. I also got my hair done. Uh, if you are black and have natural hair, Hair, or if you have curly hair or any type of hair that is high maintenance it's just exhausting doing my hair every single day waking up if you have natural hair it's just like you never know you can do everything the exact same way and your hair can turn out great one day and horrible the next day and you sleep wrong and your hair is all mushed and messed up and i just got tired of it so i got some braids that i absolutely love and i'm so happy with uh y'all know i'm a pretty I always keep my nails done but i'm like okay it's time to get my nails i want to do everything that i can so it's just that like when i wake up in the morning which i just woke up i just um washed my face and put my moisturizer and um sunscreen on i want to feel i want to feel put together and these are things that help me put together also like i said i got my nails done so this is my set for the start of spring um i'm really happy with them and i feel better i look better i feel better and that's that so um you know i'm doing a lot of things to improve myself it's not just the like aesthetics i am reinvested in my skincare my body care and so you'll see some of that in like the haul that i have for you um i ordered some new shoes i ordered some clothes for spring um all these things i'm like i want to i have the means to um change the things that i don't like or improve the things that i'm not liking or like i i have this bad habit i'll buy a lot of clothes for going out or on the weekend but i don't put a lot of time and effort into buying workwear and like cute things to wear to work like i have basics but not i don't feel like particularly 
amazing in them so i'm like okay put some time and effort into finding cute pieces that you can wear to work or you can wear not at work or whatever because i mean i'm wearing work clothes five days of the week so i'm still gonna get my wear out of them so i've been doing that as well so over the course of this vlog all that stuff is gonna start coming in and then i have a lot of things to share with you so i want to pause here and give you an actual reading update so that it's not just like lifestyle 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 and talk to you about what i've been reading um the past week uh since i filmed the original intro so i started out this week reading his majesty's dragon if you watch my march tbr you know that this is on my tbr and if you're paying attention this is a different edition than the one that i have so i'm reading this for a different vlog i don't know if you'll see this vlog first or that vlog first but you'll see it and i'm reading this for that so i'm not going to talk about my thoughts about this too much but i did read the sequel as well which i am going to talk about here so i do want to tell you what i'm thinking about this so this is naomi nobick's debut series it's a nine book series and it is a historical alternate history type fantasy and it is there's only it's an alternate history fantasy the only fantastical element is that there are dragons so there is no magic or anything like that but these dragons have abilities that aren't magic which is like dragon abilities and this is a reimagining of the napoleonic wars if there were dragons and that just as a concept has always intrigued me so way back in like 2020 when amazon would do like a two for three they used to do like a lot of box sets and so i got the first three books because this is before they did these reprints um and that was like all that was available and I got the box set in its language on my TBR. But this month, I wanted to film a reading vlog and me giving authors a second chance. So I picked this up. Obviously, since I tell you I read the sequel, I did enjoy this. So I picked up Throne of Jade. So in the first book, we're following our main character. His name is William Lawrence. He is a captain and his... Her, his what is it? His... Ma oh, so it was a king. His Majesty's Royal Navy. And in the first chapter, they're in this engagement and they come across this French warship and they board the ship and they win the ship. And on the ship, there is a dragon egg. And in this world, dragons are used, they're bred and they are used in the military as like an aerial core. And um, with dragons, if you don't get them harnessed, well, that is the belief. If you don't get them harnessed when they first are born, they go feral and they like can't be tamed and like and used with them out the military. And there are specific types of British dragons, there are French dragons, there are Chinese dragons, there are all different types of breeds of dragons that have different abilities and different appearances. Uh, and the dragons range in size. And one thing that I did like about the first book is that at the end there's like a little bit of an illustration that shows you some of the dragons and what they look like um and our main character lawrence he he's the captain there's a dragon there and the dragon didn't like any of the other guys that were on the ship and so the dragon is attached to lawrence and so lawrence his whole life is changing because he has to leave the navy and become part of the aerial core and the first book takes place over the course of about nine months and we're following along with what's going on there boom so then I liked that so much that like the day that I finished, I went to the bookstore and I picked up the this edition and they have these um, spines that have this like connected image on them and they all spell out Timuria, which is the name of the dragon. So later on in the week, I picked up Throne of Jade by Naomi Nose, which is the second book in the Timuria series. And this one picks up immediately where the first one left off, but we're entering into a new conflict because the dragon that they seize turns out to be a chinese dragon and word gets back to the chinese that the british have one of their dragons this was a dragon that they were gifting to napoleon um word gets back to them that they have the british are using their dragon it's like a war dragon and they come to britain and they're like give us our fucking dragon back sir these dragons aren't meant for what you're using it for it wasn't for you it's our dragon we need it back well Timuria is like absolutely not he will not be parted from Lawrence. And so Lawrence and Tim Marier and their crew, they go on this voyage to China to meet the emperor because the emperor's brother, one of the princes, comes in that in that group and they have to voyage back. And now, you know, this is like 18 something, 18, 16. I'm sure, I think it's like 1806 or something like that. And y'all know the, the, the journey by sea was long so this book throne of jade i didn't enjoy quite as much as book one because i feel like for the first like 20 percent lawrence and Tim Maria were separated so we weren't able to spend a lot of time with them and the best parts of this book are just their relationship and their interactions with one another Tim Maria also can talk he's a talking dragon he can talk he can read he can write uh, he's very intelligent 
and the Chinese do breed for intelligence and he is like an imperial dragon and um this is like the highest the second highest order of dragon that you can be in china and so he is very big he looks very different from the british dragons and so he has some insecurities about that and so we watch him as he just develops into this, this not this person but this like sentient being with like thoughts and feelings and we're on the journey to them and they, they meet a lot of trouble along the way because people are trying to they're obviously in the middle of a war with france and so you know france is attacking their ship um, there are obviously issues that are come involved with transporting a dragon across the ocean and then the political and cultural differences when they get to China. So while I did enjoy this one overall, I didn't enjoy it as much as book one. But one thing I will say about this series, like this first book came out in 2006 and it reads like classic fantasy, which I love. There's this... <sighs> There's this element to it that's just so warm and so cozy and you just want to like sink down into it. And I really enjoy that about it. Um, so much so that I'm going to give you like a little book haul because I've gone to Barnes um, and picked up some books. So continuing on with what I already said about Timoria, I went to Barnes last night for a little treat and I picked up books three and four in the Timberwolf series and I do plan on reading Black Powder War soon. Maybe this week, maybe not, but this is Black Powder War, which is book three. I already own this one in the mass market, so this is the only one that's actually adding to my TBR. Um, and when I put these four together, you can see more of the image. Oh, wait, it's not in order, sorry. <laughs> when I put these four together, you can see more of the image and i just think this is gonna look so stunning on my show so excited about that and then also this week one of our most anticipated releases of the year came out and that is empire of the damned by jay crystal this is the barnes and noble edition they went full bible with the pages like this book is 700 plus pages long and it looks like a skinny mini and i'm not a fan of that but whatever so i'm going to be reading this either at the end of this month or next month because i'm doing a follow-up to the vampire vlog because there's just so many vampire books that have come out sequels to books that i read in that first video and i really want to do another one because i love vampire books and you guys really enjoyed that vlog so i want to do another one and the other book that i picked up last night i picked up city of stairs by robert Jackson bennett this is this isn't his debut but i want to say this is like his debut fantasy because i think his other books prior to this like american elsewhere the troop the company members of sheriffs those don't sound like fantasy books but i could be wrong um so we'll see but this is the first book in the divine city trilogy and i follow this girl Lene on twitter and she read this recently and like this has been on my radar for years but I never, you know, went so far as to pick it up. And she read it recently in her tweets about it. I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and cut that. So I finally saw it in the bookstore. And so I had to pick it up. So I'm going to pause there. We talked about books for a little bit. We're going to go back to books in a second. But we're going to talk about another little thing that I've been elevating. So I talked about I'm elevating my skincare and my body care. So I've gotten some new skincare recently. Um, and I've gotten some new body care recently. So I wanted to show you. So let's start with the skincare. Most of it is skincare. Um, I picked up some Naturium products. Some of these I picked up and I already started using. Other ones I just got last night. So the ones that I picked up and I've already started using, I got the Laneige Cream Skin um, Toner because my toner that I've been using is a tea tree oil one has run out. And I've heard really good things about this. I started using Laneige when I was in Korea and obviously I have this on today. It gives a really nice glow. If you've ever used um, I'm From's Rice Toner, which is also Korean Beauty, I will put this in the same vein as that. This was $16 and I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but I shouldn't have because the other one is 32 but the, and it's so much bigger. But I'm fine with this because this is a travel, I can travel with this and I did book a vacation because like I said, I'm like, there are things in my life that I can change. I want to travel more. I have the time. So I'm like, I'm booking a trip for spring break and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, the Turium product that I picked up, so I picked up their multi peptide moisturizer. Um, Steph and I really both really like Naturium. I get great results with their product. So this is one I, it has like a little tingle. So I use this one at night. 
and this is like the third time I've purchased their Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. I use this as an SPF, not as a moisturizer, but I have it on as like the final step. And I think I have a little bit of a glow, but uh, I do use a moisturizer and I want to show you the moisturizer that I bought recently. I wanted like a daytime moisturizer because I bought, because I ran out of the moisturizer that I have. I using this at night and so I wanted something in the day when I'm wearing makeup that's lighter and not, doesn't have like quite as many active ingredients. Uh, so I picked up the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. And first of all, I love the packaging. Like it's pink. It's like square. I, I just like that. And this one has triceramide complex, niacinamide, and green tea. It boosts the skin barrier. And I really like how this feels. It has a really good texture. And it feels really good on the skin. Very lightweight. So it's perfect for, you know, wearing on the own, wearing under makeup. And I also got the Naturium Vitamin C Complex. I was using a vitamin C from Good Molecules. Or is it, is it Good Molecules? It's some, something like that. But I ran out. Um, well, I wasted half of it on the sink accidentally. And then I ran out. So I got this one from Naturium. Because I do use it retinol. So I wanted to try that. And then I picked up a couple of different things last night. When I went to Target. One that I've been on the lookout for. But has been sold out on Amazon. And they didn't have it the last two times I went to Target. So the thing I'm talking about now is the Multi-Peptide Advanced Serum from Naturium. This is one of their new release products. And so it's in the same product line as the Multi-Peptide Moisturizer. Um, look at that packaging. So I'm going to sample this. I'm going to do a patch test and then try this tonight. Uh, but yeah, this is multi-peptide blend plus ferulic acid and collagen and yeah, I'm excited about this one. It's for anti-aging wrinkles and skin, it improves like skin tone and texture for a youthful looking complexion. So I'm excited about that. And then a product that I have had my eye on, but I've never seen in store and I just, I much prefer to buy things in store than online, but I'm, I'm getting into my online shopping bag. So I picked up their Brenzol Peroxide Cream Cleanser because there are two like main active ingredients for like acne cleansers. And so you have salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. And I've been using salicylic acid for years and I still have acne. So it clearly hasn't done anything for me. So when I found out Naturium had a benzoyl peroxide cleanser, I was like, I gotta try it. So this is 5% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. Benzoyl peroxide is what's the like active ingredient in, what is it? proactive i used to get those ads all the time so i'm like i'm excited to try this and i think i'll try this at night because in the daytime my I, I use this cleanser and i absolutely love it it's very gentle and that is the you to the people superfood ko cleanser and i really like that so this will be like my nighttime cleanser that i put in the shower body care wise um i follow jazz turner and she's all about like elevating yourself your glow up journey all of that so if you're looking to be in your body era check her out on instagram and on youtube but she recommended this body lotion and this is uh eos shea moisture 24 hour moisture and vanilla cashmere i didn't even smell i just trusted her that much um let's see what it smells like and I also wanted to get the Vaseline Radiance, but I was like, I cannot buy two lotions right now when I also just ordered the Naturium Shower Oil. Ooh, that smells great. Oh, can't wait for my everything shower tonight. And as you can see, I have a lot of skincare and I do already have other products, but my bathroom does not have much storage. It just has like two open areas under the sink, but it doesn't have any drawers. So I was watching Olivia from Olivia Reza Latte. <laughs> watching her vlog and i saw these acrylic shelves on her bathroom wall and i texted her i was like girl send me the link to the shelves so i got these acrylic shelves that i want to put up in my bathroom so that my bathroom sink is less cluttered because i kind of end up just leaving everything out because i don't have space for it and these i adhere to the wall so i'm gonna put these up so maybe we'll do that in the vlog i'm gonna put these up and then now i'll have space to store all of my like products so that's great um i recently started watching Haley in bookland slash Haley leblanc and she is a pretty big she used to be a pretty big booktuber but recently i will i want to say like in the last five six months she's transitioned into making lifestyle content and i've been really enjoying it it's helping me get my shit together and she also like talks about like cozy hobbies and i am trying to get into my cozy hobby era because right now honestly reading is the only hobby that i have and because i've also like i've created content around it it's become like 
kind of a job, kind of a responsibility. So I want something else. So one of the things I picked up, and also if you follow Cozy K, she also is like a cozy hobbyist. And I know my girl Steph loves it. I picked up Fay Farm. Um, <laughs> I just started to make cute things about this. I have a Switch that I got under Pandemic, and I used to use it a lot, and I don't use it as much recently. That's because I beat the game that I was playing. I'm not really as interested in Animal Crossing anymore. And then I put down Zelda, and it's very hard to pick back up like the plot of what I was doing because it's so open world. So like, I want to just start fresh with something, but I want something cozy, not too, too, too deep. So picked up Face On, and then um. Uh, what's her name? Haley recently posted a video with like her coloring book collection and I was like, you know what? I also want something that I can do that's not screen based that I can do while I'm listening to audiobooks if I want to just relax and watch TV or something but I'm not that the activity additional activity isn't looking at screens. So I got myself a coloring book and this is the Alien Worlds Color Cosmic Canvas. My options were very limited at Target and I wanted to leave out of there with a coloring book because most of the coloring books were like fandom. So I saw like Harry Potter, Taylor Swift, I even saw a Dune one, but the Dune one was the same price as this one. It was much smaller and had fewer pages. So also these coloring books are expensive. This was $17. I got it with a 20% off, but still. Yeah, I need to order one online. But this is the Alien Worlds Color Cosmic Kingdoms in like, as a sci-fi fantasy girly, I was like this, is great now i want something that's not quite as intricate i want like just some simple shit to color but i'm excited about this and because i need some supplies and because i'm a grown woman with a full-time job i got the hundred pack of crayola super tips now if you've ever been a kid like you remember when you see a crayons and they had like the eight pack the 16 and 24 the 48 the 64 and the 64 used to come with a pencil sharpener in the back I used to always want the 64. And mom was like, girl, you do not need 64 crayons for one thing, because they're gonna end up in the cup holder in my back seat, melted. But second, they're the same color, there's different shades of the same color. You don't need that. And I used to just be so adamant that I had to have the 64. And she's like, no, you don't. You don't need that. But because I'm grown, I was able to buy myself the 100 pack. My mom's gonna see this and she's gonna say, I have something to say. But I bought the 100 pack of super tips and I'm so excited about it. Look at all the colors. Look at how much pink. Oh. I'm so ready. Um, and that's on being grown and having your own money. Ain't that great? So I'm so excited to do some coloring. And also I can use it in my journal, whatever. Like, look at them. I should count to see if it's 100. But anyway, look at them. Got those, very excited about that. And then the last thing that I wanna show you, which is bookish, I ordered these last year. Uh, and they finally arrived. My Iron Edition Red Rising set from Fairy Loop finally came. Um, when they did the original, original editions, I hadn't read the series yet, so I didn't really need to buy them. But after reading it, I so regret it. And honestly, I do still like those more. But when these came up, I had to get them. And so here they are. So here are the original trilogy. I'm sure they're gonna do the next four books as well. But here are the tops, and they make it like the solar system. Here are the edges, and then the bottoms are black. Um, this one's a little, little like ashy, but that's okay. Um, let's go through them. So the first one we have Red Rising on the back. It says the measure of a man is what he does when he has power. We've got Darrow, the Reaper of Mars, in the front, and we've got Cassius Avalona in the back. And then the naked book has like foiling of Darrow and like Mars. Then we've got my favorite book in the series, which is Golden Sun. It says, Home isn't where you're from, it's where you find light when all grows dark. And this one has Miss Mustang. And I want to say this is Cavex. This is a Telemannus. I know that it's a Telemannus. And this one has gold foiling. And then last but certainly not least, we have Morning Star. And this one says, "Forget a man's name, and he'll forgive you. Remember it, and he'll defend you forever." Which I'm pretty sure is a Daryl quote. And we have several and in the back we have Victra Al Julie and look at it 
so yeah so excited to have these i gotta redecorate i gotta reorganize my shelves i order i'm ordering the bookshelves so that i can do that so be on the lookout for a bookshelf re reorganization video soon um but yeah look at them so yeah that's everything today is a filming day finally so i'm gonna clean all this up put all this up and put my makeup on film some videos for you guys so i'll check in with you probably later on this evening when i've started something i do have another book to review but i'll do that later because this clip is already 27 minutes long hello friends happy monday how you doing just got home from work who's ready for an unboxing so i told y'all yesterday that i had been ordering some things and some of those things came. I also went to Uniqlo yesterday. Um, and I picked up this shirt that I'm wearing right here. It's like a short sleeve um, wool ribbed little shirt. Uh, and I also got this like lounge bra. This is the front. I was like, which is the front? Which is the back? Um, this like lounge bra because uh, I need more just like wearing around the house bras. I haven't tried it on yet, but we'll see. And I was watching a review of this girl's like her favorite white t-shirts in her collection and she mentioned the Uniqlo t-shirt. So I got the Uniqlo Women Crew Neck short silly t-shirt and this is like super, it's like the super short or something like that line. So <clears throat> it looks good. It's thick. It doesn't look like, excuse me, It doesn't look like it would be see-through, so I plan on trying that on soon. And maybe I'll do like a little try-on haul segment in this vlog. Okay, long day of talking at work, so my voice has about had it. Okay, so first up, let's open this one. And this is some more skincare this is a product that i've purchased so many times at least six times i've actually lost count because i've been using this consistently over the last five years and they recently they did like a rebrand repackaging of it and it is the body shop tea tree um daily solution and this is really good for acne prone skin so check it out they have it at ulta it's also on amazon obviously so if you you know need a little something check it out and then let's go with this one. This is some body care that I ordered because I've been going to Target trying to find it and they didn't have it in stock because I guess it's such a popular item. So had to order it online. This is the Naturium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. It is an oil to gel formula. Really excited to try this in the shower. I didn't get to have an everything shower last night because I went to bed late, so I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna exfoliate, I'm gonna try this. I wanna do, you know, a face mask. Like, I take a bath and I soak, but I also stand up and shower because I don't feel like the most clean i just like to soak because of my knees and my arthritis and just feels relaxing to be in the bag with a book but i stand up a shower afterwards because you know you know yeah um but yeah i'm so excited for this uh i've been wanting to try it for a long time and then also have like a retinol body lotion so i also showed y'all the eos body lotion that i bought so i'm excited about that this box <coughs> right here these are the shoes that i ordered and these were not the ones I originally was trying to order, but when I saw these, I was like, oh, I like these a lot. So I may still order the original ones that I wanted to order because I've just been seeing, you know, so many people wearing them and they look so cute. And like, I see the girls dressing them up, dressing them down. And I love how they style them. And, you know, I'm developing my personal style and what I really like and things like that. So that's fun. That's something, you know, you do in your late 20s. But these are Adidas. These are the Gazelle Bolts. And if you know me, you know I love a platform. Look at them. 
I was gonna originally order like the regular Sambas. I'll pop a picture of the Sambas right here. But then I saw this platform and I just couldn't. So this is like a gray and white. And I just love how they looked. I'm so excited to try. Look at that little detail on the tongue. I'm so excited. The sun was like bl like glaring, so I closed my blinds, but it's looking like it's going away. So let me open them so we can have some light. Okay. So yeah, I need to try these on because I know some of some of the like Adidas Sessiales, they they run big, some run small, whatever. But yeah, super excited about these. And I thought these are so versatile. A perfect little spring shoe, but I do still like the black and white shoe, but maybe because these are so versatile, maybe I'll get like a fun color for my Sambas. And then this big old box here is my Abercrombie order. So Abercrombie's having a sale right now. Well, they have a sale often. They have like 15% off very often, and sometimes they'll do 20% or 25%. But honestly, if you ever put in an Abercrombie order, I you know, implore you to just Google Abercrombie coupon codes because you can almost always find at least a 15% off one. You might have to try five or six of them, but it's worth it to save some money, but why not? So, so excited. I got some things that are like typical me things and I got a couple things that are a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Speaking of out of my comfort zone, I got this like powder blue top. So I've been seeing all of those like blue for spring, powder blue for spring, or royal blue for spring. So I'm like, okay, let's try it. So this is, they don't have like the names of the items, but look at this neckline. I loved this neckline on the model when I saw it. It's like square, but it like it's cut on a diagonal around the neck. Um, this is of course a bodysuit. I did get some nine bodysuit things. Everything that I order is always an extra large. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit too big, but I'd rather play on the side of safety. I got this moss or like seafoam green top because I wore like I bought this one green top of Amazon and I wore it a video in a video at the beginning of the year. And everyone was like, "This is your color," and it also looks so good with my hair. And now that my braids are done, you can really see like the red in my eyebrows because she doesn't just do them black. So this is a long sleeved, it's crop like three quarter length shirt. And this is not a bodysuit. So shout out to that. Oh, the sun is doing its thing again. But I'm really excited for that. Um, Are the names on here? Yes. Okay, so the baby blue shirt is the cotton blend seamless fabric uh and doesn't name like the shape the green shirt is a soft matte seamless long sleeve and that's the like fabric that's like the skims do and so i know the brand like pumi or pumi on amazon is like a skims dupe brand and i do have some of their tops and i plan on ordering some more for like spring staples we got this brown shirt which is a featherweight rib tuckable baby tee Oh, it's so soft, and I've really been into brown lately. Like, not buying everything in black and getting like other neutral colors, and just like, oh, it looks so pretty, and it's so freaking soft. Um, let's save the best for last. I got some more cargo pants, but I finally got some in black because I have an olive green pair. I have a khaki pair now, and then now these are black these are a little bit different because the ones i have the other ones i have are like the utility pants and these are just like regular cargo pants and these are of course in the curve love let me see so you can see the pants and then I finally decided to get like the half set or well, it's a full glove zip, but I got like a short set since it's you know getting warmer and I want to have um more like things to wear around the house and things to like cute things to run errands in. So this is the 
um, vintage Sunday shorts and the shrunken Sunday hooded full zip. The one I have now is just like a quarter zip and I wanted a full one and I saw I got this set in cream. How cute are these shorts? And like this material is so soft. Like it's, it feels like butter. Oh, so excited for these. And then like today like this weekend it was so the weather was so nice it was like in the upper 70s and today was pretty cold but it's still like a really pretty day so i'm happy about that but i'm like dang i was loving the warm weather but you know good that i can still wear stuff like this here is the full length zip and this is obviously kind of crop i have a really short torso so this is like the perfect length for my torso so this is perfect and then the last thing that i got I'm trying out some shorts, okay? I'm getting ready for vacation. I'm gonna finish booking my vacation stuff today. So, cause I want to, I want to be somewhere hot. I don't want to just want, want to be hot. Cause I want to be in like a bikini on the beach. So, I also want to have stuff to wear for my trip. And so these are the Carve Love, the loose shorts. So these are high rise, like light blue denim wash. And this is like a longer short. So it's not like a booty cheek short. So it has like, a, I think it's a five or six inch inseam. So I'm excited to try these on. So yeah, that is my haul. I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm gonna get up and make dinner. I told Stephanie, my accountability buddy, that I had to cook dinner tonight because I ordered lunch and breakfast this morning because I didn't cook yesterday. So, and I was running late this morning. That's why I didn't have time to eat before I left. So yeah, I am going to, I'm not, I may, I may not film it right now, but I'm gonna insert a try on haul after this. But I did start reading today. I started reading Black Powder War and Naomi Novik, which is the third book in the Temeraire series. I'm not that far into it. I'm like 85 pages in. Um, and this one picks up right where the first one left off and we're still in China. But Lawrence gets this like missive. So he and the crew, have to meet up like link up with this like traveling man because they have to go to istanbul to procure these dragon eggs that have been sold to britain before and they want to get them back to britain before they hatch because of the events of um <clears throat> the second book another celestial dragon another first weight heavyweight class dragon like temeraire is on its way to napoleon and so they want to make sure they can get back in time to deal with that so we're meeting some feral dragons and hanging out with them and we're traveling through like rural rural china and things like that so i'm enjoying this one uh it's already significantly better than book two because book two was just so slow and so boring and like we were on the ship literally nine months and nine months is like the length of the first book so i'm glad that we, we were able to do some other things and already we've had like a lot of different changes in scenery and things like that it's still so far not as good as book one because i think my favorite parts of book one was just the relationship building between Timur and lawrence <clears throat> And like while we do still see season Tim Moran and Lawrence, they're just like Tim Moran and Lawrence chatting about what's going on. Tim Moran and Lawrence chatting about, you know, what needs to be done, whatever. It's just not them just like spending quality time together. And while the things on the ship were slow, like I did enjoy seeing just them have these little quiet moments. And that's kind of what I want more of. So hopefully we get to see more of that. Um, although there was a funny scene because in book two, um, Tim Rare met a lady friend and he had his first little interaction with a woman. And in this scene, he jumps into this body of water. And you know, Lawrence asked him, like, did he have a fun swim? And he was like, yeah, it's not quite as nice as being with her, but it'll do. And then everybody was like, spit out the water, spit out the water. Cause and it was, I thought it was so funny because Tim Rear is also so innocent and now he's trying to campaign for the dragons in Britain to get better treatment. He's like, they should pay us. They pay everybody else. They pay the people that work on us. They pay our crews. They pay y'all. Why shouldn't dragons get paid so I can buy my own stuff? So very fun. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I really just enjoy being in this world. It feels cozy. It feels like I'm hanging out with some of my friends. Um, and I enjoy that. So I do plan on getting some reading and reading done tonight. I booked a ticket earlier to go see Dune 2 again tomorrow because I enjoyed it so much. 
and my movie theater does like seven dollars tickets on tuesday so i was like oh ten dollars off let's go check it out so i may rewatch dune one because i didn't rewatch dune one before i saw dune two the last time so i may watch dune one tonight we'll see if i get everything done but yeah that's what's on the docket this evening i'm gonna do what i said and i'll talk to you later bye okay friends it is time for the try on haul um i'm gonna like put things together as outfits as much as i can just with the pieces that i bought so that we can see them all together so first of all, i think i'm gonna try on the like sweatsuit okay so here are the like sunday shorts and then this is the like ribbed brown t-shirt that i bought to wear with this but i definitely can wear it with other things and let's put on the half zip or the full zip oh it's so soft and so comfortable oh my goodness <sighs> okay i like this because like honestly this is my torso like here it down is like my leg so i'm okay with like the length of this if you're taller than me and you this isn't obviously going to be full length on you but this is the little sweat set and i really can't see myself very well in the viewfinder but here are the vibes and i might wear this with like a bodysuit style t-shirt like having this tucked in so that you know it's like more cohesive if i'm wearing the whole like set together i just think this is so comfy and so cute to just throw on hang out around the house run some errands whatever now we're gonna go into the powder blue bodysuit and like the shorts so remember i said i had no torso i'm not wearing a bra with this so if it, if i wore a bra it would look a little bit more like that but I haven't tried to sew another shorts yet. They're a little fitted. They are long and loose. So if you're worried about like full coverage in the back, these definitely get the job done. And these shorts don't have any stretch to them. Let's see if I can get them zipped up. Oh, oh no. Okay, these might be going back. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, let me suck my stomach in. Okay. I got them up. And I think I could go up a size. But I don't think it would be as flattering everywhere else. So, here's this. Looking at it from what I can see in the viewfinder, I don't know that I would wear this together. Because I feel like the colors are too similar. But these i like how they're not like super tight around the thigh um they probably i don't know if they're giving me pancake but i can't really see but i love the top i love the color um i might actually wear this today because this is like air for the future i'm filming this on saturday but i'm putting this clip right behind the hall so i'm gonna film no I'm filming this on sunday so i may actually wear this top today but like i didn't have to struggle with the zipper but I can get them on and they feel good and they look cute. So I probably will end up keeping these. Um, I'm gonna try on the cargo pants with two tops. The one that I got from Uniqlo and the one that I got from Abercrombie. Okay, I did put a bra on for this t-shirt because if I was to wear this out, I would wear it with a bra. Um, and here are the cargo pants. I'm not sure, I like the fit. They fit well, I feel comfortable in them. Um, Interestingly enough, I think my issue might be with the length. Let me see if I can move you down so you can see the length. Um, I probably need to look at these in like a full length mirror, but they feel a little bit short, which is crazy because I always get Abercrombie pants in the regular length and I'm, I never have an issue with them because I'm not that tall. But I don't know about these. But I like the t-shirt. Um, it's full length, so you're looking for a white t-shirt it does come down here not that i would wear it like this but <laughs> if you were interesting interested and now let me try it on with the sage green top okay i love the color 
I love the fit. It's so buttery. Um, this one will be cropped on most people, but it's not really that cropped on me because my torso is very short. Uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. So this is with the try on haul. Let me know what you think if I should keep the pants or not. I'm undecided on them, but these were $90. So I don't want to be <laughs> undecided on a $90 pair of pants. So yeah. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. Um, I didn't have time <clears throat> to film an update this morning before I left for work. So I wanted to give you a quick one. I am still reading Black Powder War um, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm kind of, I, I am enjoying it and I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed book two because it was very monotonous. But at this point, I want to, I'm tired of the side quest. I want to get back to the main quest, although we have seen Napoleon himself. So that's been fun. I'm ready to get back to Britain, get back to our friends there, get back to the storyline there. So in the majority of book two, we were on our way to China and we were just in the seat and then we we're in China. In book three, we started out in China, we left China, we spent some time in Turkey, and now we're in Prussia. Um, and I'm, I'm over that. We're fighting Napoleon, we got roped in, and I'm just like, Lauren, stand up! Get about your business. You had a job to do, you done it, so now go home. Stop, everybody don't need your help, okay? Um, I went to go see Dune Part 2 last night for the second time. I loved it. It was so, so good. I cannot wait to reread um, Dune Part 1 or Dune and then continue on with Dune Messiah. So I do intend on doing that very soon. Maybe even in this vlog. I don't know. But yeah, I have a headache today. I'm not feeling my best today. Um, so it's a half day for scholars at my school. And then I have PD in the afternoon. So I'm going to do some reading sprints with my patrons tonight. So I definitely plan on finishing Black Powder War. I don't think I want to go straight into Empire of Ivory. I think I want, I'm in the mood for something else, something a bit more faster paced. So maybe I'll pick up a fantasy romance. So I just want to talk to you really quick. I'm having breakfast um, before my first class. So that's it for today. And I will talk to you guys this evening once I'm home. <laughs> Thursday today drained me um today was such a mixed bag and it, the morning started off uh, okay I like booked my flight for my spring break trip I decided I was doing a lot of dilly dallying and so I decided to go somewhere that I've been before because I'm just I have so much going on that trying to plan a trip to a new place was just overwhelming it was a lot of moving parts so i was like let me just go somewhere i've gone and i was trying to avoid that because i wanted to go somewhere new but i'm going to tulum excited about that that's in mexico if you're unfamiliar and i'm looking forward to my trips in three weeks and just the thought of my trip it was going to get me through the next three weeks um <laughs> i had such i had my formal observation today my final formal evaluation for the year which is what contributes to what my pay is for next year and all that jazz and like honestly i don't even care i don't even care so <laughs> i was not really worried about doing well i think i did okay but because i don't really care i don't really want to teach anymore i'm so over it it's fine um had ugh, so many interactions with my least favorite family so much that i literally had to block the mom i had to block the mom you might say to yourself, Aaron, is Aaron has your phone number? No, I had to block her on like the family messaging app. If you're a teacher or you have a child, class dojo. I had to block her on class dojo so that she can no longer message me because it's just so ridiculous. I literally saw her after school and I turned around and walked the other way to get out of the building because it was just too much. So tonight I'm going to try to decompress. I just sat down and ate, like, ate a smoothie bowl and watched a YouTube video. Becca put out a new vlog today. And I'm also gonna order to take off for dinner because I cooked dinner last night, I cooked dinner one other night this week. I ate lunch, I brought my lunch, whatever. 
occupy or decompress. I just want to relax this evening. So I'm ordering takeout. I think I'm going to order Korean fried chicken. That sounds like a good idea. And I'm going to start looking at swimsuits for my trip. I'm planning my trip so I can just focus on something good. Because I definitely might call out of work tomorrow because they pissed me off so bad. And I'm just like, mm, I don't want to go. And tomorrow's a field trip day. And I definitely don't want to be with them outside of the building and have to be with them all day long. So who knows if I'll go to work tomorrow. But... I did finish my book last night, and that is The Black Powder War, or Black Powder War by Naomi Novik, the third book in the Timur series. This series has definitely derailed my TBR because only book one was on my TBR this month, and I've now read books one, two, and three, so I'm a third of the way through the series. Um, I say that I'm not going to go straight into book four, but the way it ended, I'm just like, they're finally going back to Britain, so I kind of want to see what's going on, but after reading, like, slower paced books back to back I kind of want something a little bit faster paced and I did start a new audiobook this morning uh but this is for a, a different video so I won't be talking about it here so I think I want to start a new book tonight a new physical book so I haven't decided what I want to read yet but I will do that tonight um final thoughts I enjoyed this one I enjoyed the here comes the cavalry moment at the end with RK and all that <laughs> and Tim Rare, he just I love Tim Rare. I love Tim Rare and Lawrence's relationship. It's so crazy that I didn't read this for the Dragon vlog. I'm reading this for a video where I'm giving authors a second chance, and I think it's, it's perfectly suited for that video. But, you know, I'm just like, wow, this series has been on my TBR for years, and I could have been reading it this whole time. Da -da -da -da. But I am really enjoying it. So if I don't end up reading the fourth book this month, I'll probably read books four and five or something like that in April. Uh, final thoughts, like I said, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it as much as book one, but I liked it more than book two um, because there was more action, because there are different things going on. But I'm kind of over these side quests. Like I want to get back home. I want to get back to the main mission. Also, one thing I love about reading historical fiction or reading about books that are actual based, it like based in actual history, I was so intrigued by Napoleon. I was like, Napoleon was whooping up y'all ass. Like, how did y'all even defeat him? Turns out they didn't. They were poisoning that man. They had an inside man. Because I'm just like, the. I mean, I know from being a student of history, I was a history major in college. I was a history double major. Uh, I know that napoleon is one or was one of the greatest military minds that we've ever seen and obviously <laughs> he was put into bad use i guess uh but the way that he is like the way also i learned from googling and Novik that she is like a student of napoleon she like studied napoleon and the napoleonic wars in college um and you can tell like, the the rich historical tapestry of this story is so interesting and so fun and i definitely feel like if you aren't interested in history at all or like the the slower pacing of like a historical type text i don't know that i would recommend this series to you because it's kind of slow it's kind of slow and like it very much puts you in the mindset of what europe and asia were like in the 1800s and like what was going on and like what the military was like in that place and it was interesting just having these conversations and like being stopped and like, let me Google this battle. Let me Google this thing because there are battles in here that are actual historical battles and things like that. Obviously, they're not the same because we have these dragon cores, but the outcomes and the things that are happening are the same. And uh, it's, it's been so interesting to follow. And so now I'm just like, I want to read about Napoleon. I want to read some Napoleon nonfiction. Um, one thing I did check out because I was looking up Dune at the library and I saw this audiobook or just this book called Spy The Spice Must Flow is a nonfiction about Dune. And so I think I may read that soon because I'm just I'm in my Dune era. Like I wanna reread Dune. I wanna redo Messiah. I'm just I'm so hyped. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled to be going back into that world. Like such an amazing story, such an amazing adaptation. I also wanna go back and watch the like 80s adaptation um so maybe i'll do that as well but yeah so i did come home to a package because i ordered a book on tuesday when it came out um tori from tori between the pages she posted about this book or like a new fantasy romance release so i was like i'm a tree let me order so i did i'm in my fantasy romance era and this is the book this is The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee. I've heard of this author before. The Barnes exclusive edition of this is so pretty. It's this like hot pink cover, but it's a hard cover and like it was like $26 and it wasn't available immediately to ship. So I was like, if I'm gonna pay $10 more and I'm so I'm having to wait longer, I might as well just get the paperback because the paperback is also available. And this is on KU if you're interested. But first of all, I love the pink. Freaking love the pink. I'm in my pink era. 
and this one is a scorching new fantasy romance and it's about this girl it says fleeing my father's cruelty the wicked king who robbed me of a future i faced death in the streets caught between a rebellion and a tyrant's reign captured by those sworn to kill me the rebels remain blind to my true identity the missing daughter of the despised king faced with an impossible choice i stand before them join the rebels or face their blades yes yet dacre interesting this, this name is dacre because that's the name of one of the gods in uh divine rivals Dakra, the son of the ruthless rebellion commander, becomes torn between suspicion and a desire that mirrors my own. He allows no one to touch me, tries to protect me, yet threatens me at every turn. As secrets are weed beyond our hidden realm, a fierce battle unfolds within me. As I get closer to the rebels and their cause, my loyalty to my kingdom clashes with my undeniable devotion to Dakra and the burning connection between us. In a world where love and hate are two edges of the same blade, I find myself caught in a delicate dance between forbidden desire and my looming destiny very intrigued uh i may read this soon because i'm filming a fantasy romance vlog so i may read this soon for that like oh look at this look at this interior artwork how pretty um it has a little pronunciation guide a little content warning page nice little blackout pages for the start of the chapters and this one is 345 pages so i'm excited thoughts to come soon slash eventually yeah i am going to get out of my work clothes and get into something more comfortable i do have like some housework and things that i need to do could do should do and so i may do those while i'm still in a good mood because it's still pretty early it's only 6 45 so whenever i get home from work i have this thing where it's like an like, um, internal countdown to bedtime because bedtime is basically when i have to start preparing for work the next day so it's like it's seven it's about to be seven o'clock so i've got like three and a half hours until bedtime so i have like an hour and a half to fuck around and then i have like two hours to like actually shower and eat and get ready for bed and skincare and all those other things so that's how i think about my evenings which honestly isn't the best but here we are so I'm gonna do that. I may come back to you later on tonight if I decide to pick up something that I can't talk about in this vlog because I'm reading for a various vlogs since I'm so behind. I haven't been vlogging for weeks and weeks and weeks. So until then. Sunday welcome to the last day of the vlog so I haven't been vlogging as much the last couple of days because I was only read I, could, I have not been able to figure out what I want to read I have not been I have not read a book physically since I finished black powder war on Wednesday I was listening to an audio book though and I'm here to tell you the streak is broken your girl finally got a five-star read uh, you'll see that in another vlog and I'll talk about it in my wrap-up obviously but because of that, I wanted to celebrate with a little trip to Barnes. I mean, I have a bad day, trip to Barnes. I have a great day, trip to Barnes. So I got some books. Uh, you would have seen a little bit of B-roll last night. Here is 
my little haul so i want to read something else in this vlog obviously i don't have to like there's no limit to or no requirement for how much i need to read in a reading vlog but i i like to read at least three things i don't know if that's gonna happen but let's talk about what i did pick up so the first thing i got was the remarried empress by art by some pool adapted by here lee original story by alpha tart and this is manhwa uh, so this is like korean manga and it's in full color uh the title really intrigued me i saw the cover and then i read like the first like i don't know 10 pages of so or so of it in the bookstore and i was like oh i like this this is interesting and i think of another manhwa and this is recommended by mel from mel reads um she's talked about this in a few reading vlogs this year and that is villains are destined to die so i didn't even read anything about it i just picked it up on her recommendation and this is about this girl who uh, enters into this game. Uh, she wakes up and she has to play as a villain and you have to get like affection points and things like that. And then Remarried Empress is about this empress who her husband asked for a divorce and she's like, I'll agree to the divorce if you give me permission to remarry the man of my choosing. And he's like, what? And that's kind of the, the synopsis of those i've never bought any manhwa before i bought manga i bought graphic novels i bought comics i bought light novels but i've never bought manhwa before and they are a little pricey they are 20 dollars each but i'm intrigued and i want to give it a shot and then a YA book that i've had my eye on recently becca read it in a vlog not that long ago and she really liked it and i picked it up i've been picking it up the last couple times i've gone book shopping i just didn't get it and then i read like the first few pages and i was like okay and i'm also like re-entering my YA era it's crazy so i picked up belladonna by adeline grace i read the first little bit of this and i was shook so this is about this girl um uh and she has been like going from home to home and trying to find like a caretaker and she, she is independently wealthy like whoever takes care of her gets a portion of her wealth but she finally gets this into this family that wants to just take care of her and don't want anything from her but something mysterious has happened and she has this like relationship with death where when she was a baby everyone in this house where she was in, including her parents were killed and she was the only one that survived so um excited to read this one and also if you want to check it out the ebook is on ku one of my most anticipated releases of the year and like the author of my previous long-standing five star her 2024 release uh, was out early and that is here we go again by allison cochran before yesterday my five star read my only five star read that i'd had i got on december 9th 2022 was a kisser once for me and this is another sapphic romance and this one is following like childhood best friends to enemies or to rivals to lovers and they're going on this road trip and then my Dune obsession continues. So I picked up The Spice Must Flow, which is a nonfiction book about Dune. It's the story of Dune from cult novels to visionary sci-fi movies. And I was looking through audiobooks on Libby and I saw this. And then I saw it in the store next to the Dune books. And I was like, I'm intrigued by this um, because I read Dune, I loved it. I watched both the movies, loved it. I've seen the second movie twice. I, you know, I told you that early in the vlog and I do plan on uh, rereading book one and continue on with the series so i can get a fuller picture of the story of paula trades um so i had to pick this up and then last but not least i got a book that i've already read but i didn't own which is a shame because it's honestly one of my favorite romances and that is heartless by elsie silver so excited to have this one this is a small town cowboy romance it's a single dad nanny troll age gap which i love i love all of those things and i absolutely love this so here is my little stack of books that I picked up from Barnes. If you're wondering like why I have makeup on, uh, you also, these look familiar because I just filmed the try on haul, which you would have saw that earlier in the vlog. Um, today's Sunday and Sundays are my filming days. So I just got my makeup, I just finished doing my makeup so that I can film a video today. Um, because I just recently, this year, I just have been unable to film on Saturdays. Like I need a day to recover and to rest without having to do anything. So Sundays are, that's what, are their filming days. So here, it's my book stack. I'm very happy about all my pretty new shiny books. Uh, and because I want to read something in this vlog that I do have to film today, I think I might read The Remarried Empress today after I finish filming. Um, but I do this thing where after I do my makeup, I have to eat because I like slow walk in the morning. And then between like 12 and 1 o'clock, usually, 
that's when I start getting ready. Today I start getting ready at two o'clock, and then by the time it's lunchtime, and then I'm like, I'm gonna be filming for like three hours. So I need to have fuel to get me through. So I may go get a coffee and a snack. Um, we'll see. But yeah, I definitely need to eat something before I start filming, and I will come back to you. I also have more volumes of Cherry Magic, so maybe I'll read a volume of Cherry Magic today as well. Until then, let's get to it. All right, friends, it is time to end the vlog. So I've been really struggling the last few days since I finished Black Powder War on Wednesday to read physically. So I was like, you know what? I need to read something else so I can put it in this vlog. So I did some research on my patrons. I decided to pick up a manga. At the beginning of the month, I read volume one of Cherry Magic, which is my first read of March. And so in the last few minutes, like hour or two i've read the next four volumes so i read cherry magic volume two and this cherry magic 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard so i read volume two volume three volume four and volume five so uh i absolutely love this series this was put on my radar by gavin from gavin reads it all and um because he did a reading vlog i want to say reading like the first five or six and it was so cute and now i have to watch the anime and the like j drama k drama one of those because it's just so freaking cute so in this one we follow our main character adachi who is a virgin and he turns 30 and when he turns 30 he becomes a wizard because he's still a virgin and so what that means is that he can read minds of people when he has like physical contact with them and so when this happens he has this interaction with a co-worker who is like the star co-worker he's like the the most like the best seller on the sales team and marketing he's like the big fish and it turns out that this co-worker has a crush on him and so he can hear all of his thoughts so in the first volume we uh they meet in the spring or they don't meet but they have this interaction in the spring where they end up like spending the night at one another's place or something like that and then we follow them so i read the first one like literally march 1st march 2nd um and then i have i picked this one up today is the 23rd uh or is it 24th 24th um and then i was like okay let me try this out because i have this out from the library and volume two i enjoyed it but i didn't enjoy it as much as volume one and because like nothing major is happening in these it's not like this huge sprawling plot i didn't remember as much i'm like hmm maybe i didn't like it as much because i spent so much time away from the story let me go ahead and go into volume three so then i read volume three and we're back baby we're back i enjoyed this so much it was so much fun um seeing this like relationship develop and like adachi he's like a nerd and he's very quiet and he's very shy he's like not only is he a virgin but he's never dated he's never had a kiss or anything so he's really unsure and also another important element is that both Adachi and Kurosawa who is like the love interest they are both had they have both only dated women in the past and so this is a first like this attraction for them for each other is like a first for them and obviously you know it's like Japanese culture so you know they might get funny looks and things like that so all of these are things to consider um but the like declarations of love and all these other things in these volumes and like just how strongly he feels about him he's just like oh he's so cool he's so great he could never like someone like me and then when we get to volume four we finally have a little bit of reciprocity and they go on their first date and the first date doesn't go great because kurosawa is really just like i wanted to be the perfect first date for him i want to have all my first with him there's also this scene i can't remember if it's volume three volume four where they have an interaction with the co-worker and they all go to adachi's house and kurosawa is just so jealous whenever anyone interacts with adachi because he just thinks adachi is like so cute and so precious so when men women anyone interacts with him he's like super jealous and super territorial uh and then when we get to volume five they have been like kind of dating for like a month and we get into the point where adachi's like i like him but 
I don't know that I can keep dating him if I don't tell him the truth and tell him that I can read minds because I feel like I'm I'm lying to him I feel like I'm being dishonest with him and so he finally tells Kurosawa that he can read minds because I was like so when I touch you you can hear my feelings come through more and so he's like touching him and like just making all these love declarations in his head so that they can go straight to him it's just so cute it's so cute it's so cute um so I have volumes oh here's volume one here's volume one so cute i have volumes six seven and eight out from my library as well so maybe i'll read these next week in next week's reading vlog but yeah so in this reading vlog i read black powder war by naomi novick and then i read four volumes of cherry magic uh 30 years of virginity can turn you into a wizard so i'm pretty pleased with this it's not you know my best reading week ever but this week was really just about me getting back into vlogging and getting back into the swing of things and i feel like i've accomplished that so if you made it to the end of the video let's leave some cherries in the comments for cherry magic and i will see you all in my next one goodbye